Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. This is the Analog Pocket, one of the most hyped handles of 2023 and there are some big reasons to hype it even more in 2024. One reason being that you can actually go ahead and order this today and have it in your hands next week. There were numerous reports from people who ordered the Pocket at the beginning of 2023 and had it in their hands over a year later and that's just insane. But as I said, they got the stock back in order and now they ship within a few days. The other big reason is that you can now download cores and add ROMs to your analog pocket, something that was impossible before. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the super easy process to get that done. So if you wanna see the best way to play your old Game Boy and Game Boy Color games in 2024, keep watching this video. Now, let's jump into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get yourself a suitable micro SD card. I will link to one of my favorites in the video description. Insert said micro SD card into your computer and format it if you haven't already. And once that is done, head over to the link named Analog Pocket Firmware in the video description and from here click the download button next to the latest release of the Analog Pocket Firmware. Place the file you just downloaded into the root of your micro SD card and then put it back into your powered off Analog Pocket. Once inserted, power on your device and the analog pocket should start updating itself. This will take a few minutes, so go grab a coffee or something and come back when it's all done. And once done, click your way through the initial setup of your analog pocket and then remove the micro SD card and put it back into your computer again. And now we're going to use a community-made software to add emulator cores, ROMs, color palettes, etc. onto our analog pocket. So go to the next link in the video description named Download Pocket Sync, then go to the latest releases page and download the version you need depending on if you're on a Windows computer, Mac or Linux. I'm on Windows so I'm grabbing the .exe file. Run the installer or the .exe file you just downloaded and you might need to allow it in your Windows firewall. Don't worry, this is not a virus or something, but once it's finally installed, launch Pocket Sync on your computer. In Pocket Sync, click on Connect to Pocket, select your micro SD card in the list on the left and then click on Select Folder. And now you're ready to install emulator cores, games and more. So click on Cores in the left list and here you simply click on the system you want to install so let's say you want to install NES, click on the icon and then click on install in the right corner and then confirm it. Repeat for all systems that you want to install. A few emulators need BIOS files to function and these will have a red button after you install them. Either provide your own or have PocketSync download them for you. This might violate copyright laws where you live so make sure you do what's right. And once you're happy with your selection of emulators, it's time to add all your games. And it's equally easy as adding emulators. Click on the Games tab in the left and then click the system you want to add games for. This will take you to the correct folder on the micro SD card where you should put your game files, aka ROMs. The files need to be in uncompressed format and not in a zip archive or something. The allowed file ending is stated under each system. So start transferring your games and then put your micro SD card back into your analog pocket and we take it from there. On your pocket, click on Open FPGA and from here you can select among the systems you installed in the previous steps. And that's it for this brief tutorial on how to add emulators and ROMs to your analog pocket in 2024. Couldn't be easier. If you liked the video, please give it a like and let me know what you play on the analog pocket. This device is truly amazing for all Game Boy lovers out there. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech Cravers for more content like this and I'll see you in the next one. Tech Cravers out.